I got Dave Mad Max X in the East Coast Mecca this time, and I got the big Akeem Williams and, and uh, continuing my uh, upcoming series for uh, Kevin returning to the 2016 Mr. Olympia. I got all the guys on the uh, on the West Coast, and now I'm gonna have the guys on the East Coast. <laughs> Akeem, what do you think about that, man? Uh, I was just telling you the interesting story that I had when I went out to uh, the 2016 FIBO that I actually got a chance to talk to him for a little bit. You know, we were talking, but he didn't tell me anything about him coming back or anything like that. He just told me that, uh, you know, he's been working out, he put on a lot of size and stuff like that. So I know something was up, you know, I saw the size that he put on. So I, <laughs> later on when I heard the news that he was actually coming back, I wasn't too, too shocked, you know. But what do you think about it as a fan and as a, as a competitor yourself? As a fan, you know, you know, looking back at all the videos and stuff like that, that uh, I used to watch him competing and stuff like that, I think it's awesome, man. You know, hopefully he could put on the size he needs to actually compete with these guys. And I would definitely love to see him on stage, you know? That's awesome. Thank you so much, Akeem. <laughs> no problem. All right, guys, continuing our uh, East Coast Mecca tour. And uh, I have got all the East Coast guys now. And, and Arthur, you going to tell me, what do you think about the return of Kevin Liberal to the 2016 Mr. Olympia this year? I personally cannot wait. Uh, Kevin was one of my favorites growing up in the 90s. I aspired to be like him. I used to watch Marilyn Muscle Machine on a weekly basis before I trained. I'm a big fan of his. I saw some pictures of him today that leaked from RX Muscle. He looks incredible and uh, it's exciting. You know, it's a little little spice in the IFBB men's open bodybuilding this year. And I personally, I can't wait. I'm glad he made the comeback. Uh, I can't wait to see him and what he brings. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Aaron. My pleasure. Okay, you guys, so we're uh, here at the East Coast Mecca with uh, Miss uh, Women's Physique Olympia, Juliana, and she's gonna tell me what she thinks of the return of Kevin Livron to the 2016 Olympia. What do you think, Juliana? I think the exciting news that he's coming back. Kevin, it's, um, since I started, I'm always um, a big fan of him, of his physique, and um, I think it's a great news, and I wanna wish you I wish him best of luck to the 2016 Olympia and let's see what he's gonna bring. He's very exciting and everybody's excited about it. Everyone's excited yeah. about it, right? Best of luck, Kevin. All right, thank you so much, Juliana. Okay. I got Dave at Max 6 and I am at the Super Gym in New Haven, the powerhouse of Monterey Brothers. Famous place over here and I'm continuing my um, my compilation of the return of Kevin Lebron in the 2016 Olympia. I got Chris Tuttle over here. Chris is gonna give me his take on the Marilyn Wilson machine coming back to the Olympia. What do you think, man? You know, I think it's great. You know, we've heard him making comebacks before, but it never fell through. And this time it looks like it is going to come through. And I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. You know, there's a lot of hype going in, seeing how well he's going to do. But the way I look at it is either way, if he does well or not, I think it's still a great thing. Brings some of the old physiques back. And if he comes in and he makes a mark and stirs things up, even better. Um, but like a lot of people like to attach too much hype to things sometimes and push it like he's going to be next to Mr. O. You never know, it possibly could happen, but again, we will see. But either way, I think it's a great thing. I think I think it creates a lot of excitement. You know, with Ty missing the Olympia last year, and Jay retired and everything, it just seems like in that past year they kind of like blah a little bit. So Kevin coming back this year, that's all the words talking about. I think it's on the West Coast it is. About yeah, here. yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, nobody likes to see the same numbers, placings every year after right. year after year. I like to see things kind of come in and stir things up, have battles. And that's what bodybuilding is about. Yeah. And there's many people who want them to dominate and be all good all the time, but the crowd likes things to stir up. Yeah. Things that, you know, a battle to happen where we really don't know who's going to win. Right. And I think that that is something that I think Olympia misses a few many years. Yeah. You know? It's more of like a domination thing or yeah. you know, set in stone who's going to win or not. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for talking yeah. to us today, man. Thank you very much. All right, guys, did my Max is continuing with our compilation on the East Coast this time. I did the West Coast. Uh, so now I've got all the East Coast boy. David Henry, man, the giant killer. What do you think about the 2016 Olympia return of Kevin LeBron? I mean, I really haven't formed a, you know, a, a real good opinion on it or anything, so I don't live here nor there. Uh, hey, great, you know, to anyone who wants to step back on the stage after some years off. 13 uh, years off. That's a long time, bro. <laughs> I, <think that's, laughs> I, think, I think that's as long as I've actually been a pro. Holy crap. <laughs> now I'm dating myself. But uh, you know what? If health is good and and, uh, and and training is on point, you know why not? You know Albert Beckles and stuff. He you know was a real good example of what it looks like up in the 60s. You know what I mean? Uh, Frank Zane still in some good shape. You know there's a couple of other individuals that are you know past their years and in, in, uh, actively competing, but still look fantastic. So more power to them. Don't know him personally. You know, uh, not really had a chance to sit and talk with them on a personal level, but have at it. 
see you on the stage. All right, man. Thank you, David. Hi, guys. I'm here with the Boston Mass at the uh, Super Gym in New Haven. And Jose is going to give me his thoughts on Kevin LeBron coming back to 2016 in this tour. Jose, what do you think, man? I think it's exciting. I think Kevin is a one of a kind. If you remember back to when he was competing, uh, you know, in the 90s and early 2000s, he would look like a men's physique guy in July. <laughs> and then be 250 on stage. So I think the rest did him good. If you've seen the pictures that were leaked recently. Have you seen that? I did. And Ten weeks out? It doesn't surprise me at all. He looked incredible. Um, I think he's only going to grow from there and get better and better. And uh, he's in a perfect position because he really got nothing to lose. You know, Phil should win. You know, Sean Roden should be up there. Dexter, all those guys should beat him. But there's a distinct possibility that he could be pushing these guys. What do you think about the people that are, because there are two kinds of people, people that are really excited about coming back, like, oh my God, maybe he's going to do it. And some people are like, eyes too old, he stopped for 13 years, he's 52, 52 years old, let's be realistic. I personally feel, feel like, I hope he nails it and really pushes the guys at the top just to show people who don't believe, look, what can be done at that age. Yeah, well, maybe the people who are saying it are too old. <laughs> you know, maybe they're too old to do it. Yeah. Don't put limitations on other people but just because you can't do it. That's a good point. You know, Kevin's one of a kind. He you is know? one of a kind. He's got great skin. I saw him at uh, Body Power, and we hung out for a little bit. We're talking, and uh, he looked unbelievable. His skin is perfect. He was already round and bubbly then. That was in May. And, and th I have no reason to think that he can't do it. Wow. You know? Until we see otherwise, I'm a believer. And, and I believe he can do it. I'm excited. I hope he does. Me too. I think we're going to Thank you so much, Lene. You got it.